All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about how we did $11,000 with OnlyFans automation. And it's not what you guys think. There, there was no pickles involved. There was no nasty stuff. Like, just no, it wasn't any of that. And we're going to break down how it works. So that way you guys can go do the same thing or we can do it for you. All right, stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Roughneck Actual and you have reached the Roughnecks Ecom channel. If you want to learn how to make money online or offline, then you need to be right here. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller. I'm also an honorably discharged Air Force veteran. Graduated from Penn State and started a career as a software engineer and leveraged that to build my businesses. If you guys have any questions on how to make money, you're going to find all your answers right here, so stay tuned. Yo, Roughnecks, welcome back to the channel, man. You know, I told you guys I was going to try to shoot more content, and so here we are. Now, let's talk about OnlyFans and how we were able to do $11,000 for this particular chick right here. Boom, all right? So, it comes with a lot of caveats, all right? It is doable, and pretty much anyone can do it given the right formula. So, let's preface this, like, we have really good management, and since we take care of everything for the girls, so all they gotta focus on is shooting content and uploading it to Google Drive. They don't have to worry about messaging. They don't have to worry about anything. They literally don't have to do anything outside of that. Well, I mean, engage on social media or whatever. But when it comes to OnlyFans, they don't have to do anything because we do all the work for them there. Plus some like promotions on like Twitter, Reddit, and places like that. So since that's their sole focus, just shooting content and uploading it, they can produce more of it. And then we do what we do and interact with, you know, with the fans and all that stuff. So there's so, so many things that go into it and we're gonna try to break down how this works. So if you weren't part of an agency, you can kind of reproduce it for yourself and be able to move forward beyond that, all right? So uh, let's go ahead, let's break down the first section and you know try to get you guys to understand where you're going wrong and how to fix some of it. Let's go. All right guys, so now we're gonna talk about the content structure. So this is where a lot of people are going wrong and it's not necessarily your fault, but it is. Okay, so number one, you don't shoot enough content consistently. So in this case, you know, Britt, she shoots a lot of content, all right, because I require it. You gotta, if you're working with us, you need to shoot content at least two to three times a week, if not more than that, because your fans don't wanna see stale stuff. They don't wanna see the stuff that you're, you're posting up on Instagram, at least they don't wanna pay for it. And if they do, they're gonna end up charging back because you did the wrong thing. So, you gotta shoot more, and it's gotta be specific for what your audience wants to see. Now, there's a lot of, of people on the site that try, to, uh, they try to do everything, right? They try to do all the things, you know? So, maybe your brand is more glamor, but you're trying to do like financial domination, or you're trying to do girl on girl, or boy on girl, whatever it is, if that's not your audience, you're never gonna make any money. So number one, you gotta figure out what your audience wants, okay? And the only way you're gonna know that is by shooting content and looking at your statistics. All right, so that's what we do. We break down what these guys are actually purchasing and then doing more of that, okay? Because if that's selling, that's what you wanna do more of. Don't just throw stuff out there and be like, oh, I wanna be a gamer chick or I wanna be like a, a cannabis supporter or I wanna be a financial dominatrix or I wanna be this or I wanna be this or this or this or this or this. Figure out what these people wanna see. Shoot that content and be consistent. When you're stale and when you don't shoot enough, your fans drop off. They're not coming there just to shoot the shit half the time. Now, some will, but the majority of them are trying to see new and fresh content that they're not gonna be able to see on Instagram or TikTok or whatever, okay? And speaking of, you know, TikTok and Instagram, Facebook. Let's break that strategy down now because this is really, really, really helpful. Let's go. All right, let's talk about how social media plays into building up your fan base, all right? So one of the biggest issues that we have, or at least that I have right now, or there's a lot of you know models that'll hit me up in the DMs, you know, plug below. Like, so if you're trying to get managed and you wanna work with an agency, my, you know, my social media information is below. But they'll hit me up and they'll have like a hundred followers on Instagram or they won't have a TikTok and they don't know what Twitter is or Reddit or whatever, they will existently, I mean, they will essentially be non-existent in the public sector or they'll have private accounts, which I'm like, that's not gonna help. But if you don't have a social media following, you need to grow one or you need to pay for one, all right? So one of the biggest issues that I see when people are trying to grow their, their OnlyFans subscribers is the fact they don't have a social media you know, presence. 
they can't reach out to those, you know, to the people that follow them because they're so small. You know, you can't, you know, get a million subscribers if you only have a hundred followers between, you know, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. All right, so you need to put more time into growing that platform, and that's what we require the girls to do. We do a lot of stuff for them. You know, we do some promos through Twitter and Reddit and all, Reddit and all that stuff, but the biggest issue comes in where we can't mimic that engagement. We can't mimic, you know, your, your presence on Instagram, all right? So we can't just fake it. You know, you need to be engaging, all right? You know, you need to take good quality photos. You need to post. You need to be fun. You need to be friendly. You know, in order to grow a social media presence, people have to have a reason to follow you. And if you're not giving them a reason to follow you, you're never gonna grow, which makes our job even more difficult, which means we gotta spend even more money, which means it's not, it's not necessarily beneficial to us, right? To the agency as a whole. So if we're gonna sit here and dump $10,000 into you to, to grow you, there needs to be a reason why. There needs to be potential. And it doesn't matter how pretty you are. Everyone believes they're pretty. Everyone, you know, who's, who's signing up OnlyFans, oh, I'm fine, I'm the best thing ever. That's not necessarily the case. If you can't grow a social media, you know, account, you're probably not near as pretty as you think you are. Just to put that out there. So you, you got to give us a bone here. And you, in order to help, you know, in order for us to help you, you need to help us, okay? Or if you're doing it on your own, you need to be able to help yourself. All right, so take the time to find uh, pages on Instagram, like shoot content, shoot reels. Instagram is really big on reels right now. Put those out there with, with, um, you know, with accounts that are promoting that type of content. You know, if you gotta pay for a world star post, it's like four or five grand or something like that, but do it. You know, these are things that we do for the girls that we feel are gonna make us the most money. You know, if you have the propensity to make, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month, then we're gonna do everything we can to help you get there, especially if you're already making like 10K a month. But if you have no followers, you need to be able to build that and you have to figure out how. So you're gonna to have to spend money if you don't have an agency, or you have to convince the agency to spend money on you. You know, but if you only have a hundred followers, it's kind of difficult. So, you know, spend time growing, you know, free uh, social media platforms in order to convert those people over to um, over to OnlyFans. You know, so there we go. Now let's talk about another one that people seem to always get wrong. Like, oh God, this is one of the things where I just, I'm like, just, sh just shut the fuck up. All right, let's talk about it. All right, guys. So another thing is, please do your best to be pleasant. So our management team, they're great with that. You know, they know the male psychology because generally the majority of people that will buy your content, if you're on OnlyFans, whether you're a male or female are going to be guys, right? So you want to be pleasant. You don't want to come off and be a dick bag, okay? And that happens way too often. So what I see with uh, when I'm logging into, you know, some of the, the prospective models accounts and I'm taking a look at their, um, you know, their vault, I'm taking a look at, you know, their statistics. I'm seeing how they message back and how they respond, why they're not making money and can we help them? The overarching theme seems to be they're just not very pleasant. You know, they're not taking time to attend to these relationships because let's put it put it in perspective they're looking at, at, at you as like a digital girlfriend or a digital boyfriend depending and if you are just mean and nasty and responding really rude and being short and you're just like give me money give me money give me money that doesn't make people want to give you money that turns them off and in turn they just fall off they're like you know what i'm gonna go subscribe to somebody else and pay for their content and the biggest issue with that is you lose money all right so if you're not very pleasant you're going to end up losing money People aren't going to purchase your content. People aren't going to take the time to get to know who you are. And essentially, you're going to become a nobody. You're just going to fade into obscurity. So, you know, with the managers that we have, again, they are trained to be pleasant. You know, so even if someone is rude, they're not firing back like, yo, fuck you, douchebag. I don't have to do anything. I have to do what you say, blah, 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 blah. You know, instead of saying something like that, like $100, like that's way too cheap. I'm more respectable than that, blah, 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 blah. You know, the management team is trained to turn it into a like soft close. Like, okay, well, we're gonna take this objection and then we're gonna flip it and still get paid, but we're gonna get paid our way. Whereas you would just lose the sale because you're probably not very pleasant or, you know, you have retching, resting bitch face that, you know, translate into actual verbal bitch face. Okay, so remember, that's gonna be very important when you're trying to grow your own account. You wanna be pleasant. I'm not saying that you have to be completely passive and let people walk all over you, but 
you do need to be more pleasant when you're responding to people. Like, I get it, you might have a day job, you might have two or three jobs, but you cannot take out your frustrations on your fans, all right? You just cannot because these people are paying you for content and they're essentially paying you for that experience, for the opportunity to be able to chat with you on a more intimate level. If you're not very chatty or you're rude or just inconsistent, that's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work, it's gonna break the illusion and people aren't gonna pay, okay? So hopefully these tips help you out. These are things that we do with the agency. Again, you guys can always click the links below. You can hit me up if you have questions. Now granted, I'm not gonna sit here and answer your questions all freaking day long because guess what? We have money to make and I have to run businesses. But, you know, I'll do the best I can. So with that being said, be safe, be smart, drop any questions you have in the comments below, whatever, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.